Action News, live at 11. Well, major developments in the race to vaccinate Nevadans from COVID-19. 13 Action News now learning the CDC has reduced our state's allotment of Pfizer's vaccine by nearly half. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Keen. Todd has a night off. Nevada will now be getting about 18,000 more doses by the end of next week. State officials were expecting a little more than 30,000. The latest shipment will be sent to CVS and Walgreens so staff can begin vaccinating nursing home workers and residents. Also tonight, the FDA advisory board on vaccines recommending the Moderna vaccine for emergency use approval. Now, this means the agency could approve the vaccine for shipment at any moment. All of this coming as some doctors in Clark County got their vaccine questions answered. Some wondering about the side effects and whether pregnant women should get immunized. Let's get right to 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels live right now to explain all of this. Joe. Yeah, Tricia, more than 100 doctors participated in this town hall. They know there's a lot of questions. They have some questions even of their own about these vaccines. And a lot of the science so far has shown to be safe, but there's still many unknowns. The largest vaccination effort in American history rolls on. By this time next week, Southern Nevada Health District authorities expect Moderna's vaccine will be approved, shipped, and administered to some Nevadans. Even with the drop in the Pfizer allotment that was just announced, it should cover most Clark County hospital workers with the first round of the dose. Interesting enough, uh, actually, now that the vaccine is here, what we have seen is that there, there have been a very very positive response from the hospital staff and really almost everybody at, at the hospital is actually getting vaccinated. In this virtual town hall, the Clark County Medical Society helped to answer some lingering doctor questions about the vaccines. One of them, should pregnant women get the shot? I think a lot of people will be nervous, understandably so, recommending a vaccine that was not studied in pregnant women. Authorities say the vaccine trials covered a wide range of people, adults mostly, and the side effects have been mild, with some allergic reactions reported. But the research did not study pregnant women. Doctors say similar shots like the flu are recommended. Any other similar vaccines are given millions of times um, a day in this country and around the world uh, on pregnant women with incredible safety profile and significant decreased chance of death. The CDC hasn't given guidance yet for pregnant women or women who are nursing as it relates to getting the vaccines. Doctors say so far COVID-19 has posed an increased risk of complications and even death for women who are pregnant. We um, and we are already receiving a, a lot of, of requests or complaints, depending how you want to call it, or, or people from any of those uh, uh, different uh, groups, uh, you know, asking why they are not in tier one. Southern Nevada authorities say people are wanting to get the vaccines, which remain only in a small enough supply for the highest priority group consisting of healthcare workers, frontline first responders, and those in nursing homes. And Tricia, so far the state has received about 25,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. There was no, no clear reason why the CDC reduced Nevada's next round of the shipment. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right.